Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a few gym accessories. Now we've talked about some, some training tools before, training gear, uh, but we're not talking about things like shoes, wrist straps, knee sleeves, stuff like that. Today we're talking about a couple other options. A few of these we've talked about before, but a few of them are new. So even if you've seen all of our videos, which I'm sure you have because we're a very big deal, uh, you'll still appreciate the new ones, hopefully. So let's get to it. One handy tool is a timer. We got two of these in pink, because pink is cool. We got two of these uh, somewhere, I don't know, Amazon, Walmart, and it was like two for nine bucks. So they're very cheap. Uh, battery's gonna last a long time, unless you leave it on, of course, by accident. But it probably has, I think it has an auto power off feature. Anyway, a little out of breath. Uh, it's got a count up feature. It's also magnetic, which is nice. So whether you're at your home gym or at a commercial gym, you can just attach it to your rack. I tend to use it as a count up um, device, but you can also use it as a timer that'll count down. You can either make it flash red or you can make it actually beep, which is very annoying. Um, so that you know when it's time to lift again. Now you don't have to use a timer when you lift. However, um, most of my workouts are fairly time sensitive. In other words, I need to get in, get out and get gone in a reasonable amount of time. So I typically use a timer. I'm probably a little anal retentive too. I can handle that accusation. So I typically use a timer. So if you find that your workouts are taking longer than you need to, and it's because you're chatting with other people or whatever else, because of course that's a great thing to do for rest periods, but if you need to time them, really cheap option. Another training accessory is coffee. When it's cold, you drink coffee. When it's early, you drink coffee. When it's hot, you still drink hot coffee. And when it's late at night, you drink coffee. Coffee. Training log. If you're gonna train, if you're gonna lift intelligently, have a training log. I would recommend a paper version, a notebook. However, if you wanna do digital, that's fine too. Just have one. This is what separates training from exercising. You wanna exercise, that's fine. They got jazzercise, they got spin, they got Zumba, they got lots of options. You wanna train, have a training log. Have your warm up sets, have your work sets, have what you're gonna do next time. Get the training log. Fractional plates. If I say fractional plates, specifically I'm referring to, you're gonna want either a pair of 1.25 pound plates or what will actually give you some more flexibility is actually having a set like this. You can get these online, Amazon, a whole bunch of other places. So this is, you've got two quarter pound plates here. You've got two half pound plates. You've got two three quarter pound plates and you've got two one pound plates. So that gives you all the flexibility that you have with the 1.25 pound plate so you can make a two and a half pound jump which is really useful for things like a press or a bench press and also for a whole lot of people even something like a squat or a deadlift but you can also make a smaller jump for example you know if i've got two one pound plates i can make a two pound jump one pound on either side of the bar i could even make a one and a half pound jump. I can put a three quarter pound plate on either side of the bar. So if you have the choice, I'd probably recommend the, the kind of the complete fractional set as opposed to just the 1.25s. We hope this was useful. And if it was, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button or give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment below. We will see you in a future video. And as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.